Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch SMS 2 HVW66 freestanding dishwasher. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dishwasher, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before we start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances like these, I do specialise in corded vacuums, and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So fortunately, when it comes to freestanding dishwashers, especially when it's the full size dishwashers like this, then they do tend to be a pretty standard size. Uh, but nevertheless, before you buy any dishwasher, not just this Bosch one, it's always worth just having a quick measure. Uh, so on this one, we are looking at 60 centimeters wide or 23 and a half inches. The depth, so front to back, again, you're looking at 60 centimeters or 23 and a half inches. And then the height, they tend to be pretty standard. So around 84 and a half centimeters or just over 33 inches. So to open the door on the dishwasher, you've got a nice wide handle here. So there's plenty of space to get your hand in to open the door. Uh, you'll see in here, uh, it is pretty standard layout, especially if you've had a Bosch dishwasher before. They don't tend to change it a huge amount. Uh, I suppose the main thing that really stands out is the top cutlery drawer. Uh, this model is a 13 or has a 13 place setting. Uh, and what that means is that you just get a little bit more space inside to load all your plates, cups and dishes and everything inside. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually put all of your cutlery and everything on here. Uh, the main advantage of having this kind of tray, and I'll just take it off, just show you. So with this, you can actually line everything up if you want to. Uh, you'll find the cleaning performance if you put everything on here individually, especially within the slots then the cleaning performance of that will be a lot better than just putting it into a standard cutlery basket. And then to put that back on, you just locate it on the wheels like that. So you just pop it on there and then you can push that back in. So it comes with that. Uh, it doesn't come with a standard cutlery basket at the bottom. And I suppose the main advantage of having the tray at the top is that you gain space at the bottom. Uh, but what I want to do is I'll just show you the top basket first of all. You have got something on here called Rackmatic. Uh, this is it's something that Bosch have used for quite a few years and what this enables you to do if you press the two handles in like that you can raise or lower that. You do have the option if you want to to angle it one side. Uh, it is debatable whether it whether it works doing it that way. I have used it quite a few times at home that way. Uh, some people think it doesn't work. Uh, if you've had a dishwasher like this before, let me know if you've used it going sideways like this and if it's worked or not. But anyway, I've used it. It seems to have worked okay. But I suppose the main advantage is you've got different positions in here. So if you have got tall plates or tall glasses at the top here, especially when you've got the tray, that's something to consider. If you do use things like pint glasses or tall wine glasses, then first of all, you can stand the stems in the top here. Uh, this part is used for things like uh, espresso cups, like the very small cups, or even things like long bread knives, but you can fold those up if you want to. Um, also, all of these are static, so you can't fold any of these down, uh, which you can do on some of the higher end dishwashers. As we go to the bottom drawer, so with this one, uh, these darker colour ones you can fold down. So if you just move those, that just gives you a nice flat area. So if you've got things like big dishes or if you've got say a big saucepan that you want to get clean, then it's a lot easier to have a, a flat area to put this on rather than having to put them on the, the tines or the prongs here. Uh, also it does lower everything down. Uh, that's even more important because sometimes, and I have had it at home myself, I try and put a saucepan on here and it raises it up because I can't get it all the way down. Uh, but at least you, when you, you've got a nice flat area here, you can have it just sat flat. And especially if you've got this top basket lower, then that's even more important. Uh, I'll just show you at the back here. I'll just take the bottom basket out. As far as cleaning and maintenance on the dishwasher, it's very easy to do. Uh, you can take this out, so you can take the spray arm out if you want to and just give that a, a good clean. Just rinse it under hot water and then that just pops back in like that. The filter well, is also easy to take out. Uh, you'll see there's some residual water in here. That's just from where they're tested in the factory. 
Uh, you will find that over time you will get some gunk and food residue around the outside here, but you can just take that apart and again just go and give it a, a good clean in hot water. Also, when it comes to cleaning the dishwasher, there are certain liquids or detergents that you should use and certain liquids or detergents that you shouldn't use. Uh, now, I only say this because a good friend of mine recently sent me a picture or a video of her dishwasher and there was foam everywhere in the kitchen coming out of the door of the dishwasher. And basically what she'd done is to use some bleach to clean around the seals. Now, I know it's not a bad idea, uh, but essentially you shouldn't use bleach to clean it because it took a long time for her to get all the foam out to clean up the kitchen, but at least the kitchen floor was nice and clean afterwards. If you're watching this, then I know you'll be smiling. And then finally inside here, you've got the dishwasher tablet or gel pouch, that's where you put that. Uh, once you've popped it in there for each wash, you just shut the door. To the right of that, you've got the rinse aid door. So you just open that, pop the rinse aid in, and then shut that. It is recommended to use rinse aid in the dishwasher. I suppose really in any dishwasher, I'd always recommend using it. Don't rely on the three in one or four in one tablets. Uh, it's always better to use the proper dishwasher salt, which just goes at the back here, and to use rinse aid, and to use good quality products as well. Uh, you will find that the performance of the wash will get a lot better if you're using the rinse aid and salt and also if you're using good quality products. And basically what happens during the wash, the, that will open and then the tablet will drop into this. So although it does act as the handle, uh, the tablet or gel pouch will drop into that section. And the, the advantage of having that is that it means it dissolves properly every time. When it comes to the programs on the dishwasher, you've got a really good selection. Uh, if you press and hold the on and off button on the left hand side there for a couple of seconds, then you'll see the display starts to flash. Now, initially I've got quite a few indicators on the front here. That's just warning me that I need to fill the, the rinse aid and the salt. Uh, clearly this is a brand new machine, so I've not had a chance to put those in yet. You've got a time remaining indicator in the middle here. So once the program has started, then that will count down. That's something I always find really useful. Uh, I suppose on any appliance like a washing machine or dishwasher, mainly because it, at least you know how long you've got left in the program. Because program durations vary so much nowadays. Uh, and I'll just give you a quick run through as to some of these programs. Uh, so the first one here is the Eco program. Now I always say don't mistake Eco thinking it's going to be a quick program. Eco stands for economical. And I suppose with anything like a dishwasher or washing machine, you will find that a, a, a longer wash can be more energy efficient, especially nowadays with energy prices as they are. Uh, so the first one here, so as it says, that's three hours 50, so just under four hours for a wash, which is quite a long wash, but you'll find it's very energy efficient. It only uses nine and a half liters of water and it consumes around 0.9 kilowatt hours of energy. As you go on to the next program, this is a really good one because it will adjust the temperature of the wash between 45 and 65 degrees, depending on how dirty the water is and depending on how dirty everything is inside the dishwasher. Uh, and the main advantage of that is it can, it will vary the time as well. So it'll vary between an hour and 40 and two hours, 45 minutes, depending on which temperature it's picked. And it will vary the amount of water used between seven liters and 15 and a half liters. So that's a, that's a good one to use. And I think for, for everyday washes, I'd recommend using that one. As you go on to the next program, the intensive 70 degree is a very good program for things like greasy pots and pans. If you've done a, for example, a Sunday roast or quite a heavy wash, that's a good one to use. Uh, you will find it, again, it takes around two hours 20. Uh, you use between 10 and a half and 13 and a half liters of water really depending on how dirty everything is in there. Uh, Express 65 degree, as it says, that's a, a 65 degree program. It will only take around an hour to wash, so it is a much quicker wash. Uh, consumes 1.2 kilowatt hours of energy, and it uses around 10 liters of water. So even, I suppose, just to compare that, so that's using 10 liters, uh, compared to the first one, the Eco 50 degree program, that's nine and a half liters. So even though it's a much quicker program, it's no more energy efficient than the Eco program. But you can find that sometimes using the longer programs, the performance of the wash and the way it washes can be better. 
The, the next program on here, the Silence 50 Degree, that's a very good one if you've got things like Economy 7, if you want the dishwasher to come in during the night, then it just operates a lot quieter. Uh, again, it uses 10.5 litres of water and around 1.1 kilowatt hours of energy. Again, you'll find it's quite a long wash, it's around four hours, but if it's on during the night, if it's an economical program, it, whether it's an hour or four hours, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, just while I'm talking about the time delay option, you have got it on this dishwasher. So all you need to do is just press that button and what it will do is it will just delay the start of the program. And again, if you have got time delay, then that will delay it for up to 24 hours. So as we move along here, uh, you'll find you have got something called remote start. Now on this dishwasher, it has got something called Home Connect, uh, which is a, a feature that a lot of Bosch appliances have now. Uh, it's not just on the dishwashers. And what this will enable you to do from the remote start is to use an app on your phone or tablet and you can actually start the dishwasher uh, on its own. Uh, that can be a really good feature if you were, say, out for the day and then if you realise you hadn't put it on, then at least you can do it from your phone or tablet. There are quite a few other features. Uh, I won't go into it too much at the moment, uh, but if you just want to have a look, say, on the Bush website, then it will actually tell you what you can do or what you can't do through the Home Connect. Uh, the next option on here is called Extra Dry. Uh, but what that will do when you enable that, it just adds a little bit of time. So on the silence program, it only adds about five minutes. Uh, but that's very good. If you've got things like uh, a lot of plastic, say a lot of plastic cups or plates, put my teeth back in, uh, so cups or plates that are plastic, then sometimes they don't dry properly uh, under a standard program. So just by adding the Extra Dry, it just adds a, a little bit of time on, but that can make life a little bit easier for you. The half load option, just if I select that, uh, what that will do, again, it reduces the time on the program, uh, but that just enables you to do a wash and it reduces the energy consumption as well. Uh, but that's very good. If you've not got too many plates or cups that you want to wash, uh, but you don't want to wait for a full load, then just enable the half load option. The next one is a brilliant option. This is called Speed Perfect. Uh, now Bosch use Speed Perfect on a lot of their dishwashers and washing machines. And essentially what it will do is it will reduce the time uh, between 15% and 75% depending on the program. Uh, so as you see on this program, the silence has reduced it from four hours down to one hour 45. Uh, as you come over to uh, say the Eco program, then it can reduce it from three hours 50 down to an hour and 12. So it does reduce it by a huge amount. The main thing to mention is that despite you bringing the time down of the program, it doesn't necessarily reduce the energy consumption. Uh, what you can find, because it's trying to do the full wash in a shorter time, it's having to do everything a lot quicker. Uh, and as I say, you can find that the water and energy consumption can increase. The last option on here is the machine care. And this is really designed to be washed at 70 degrees centigrade. Uh, so it's quite a high temperature and it just gives the machine a really good clean inside. Uh, that's good to use, ideally probably once a month. Uh, if you try and get into the habit of doing that, then it just means that things like lime scale and gunge buildup doesn't happen as much inside. And finally, you have got a little key symbol on the side here. That's the child lock facility. Once you've started the program, and if you just press and hold that button for about three seconds, then you'll find that the little key symbol will appear. And that just stops little fingers coming along and changing any programs on there. Uh, and then once you've finished with that, once the program has got towards the end, press and hold that button again for about three seconds and the key symbol disappears. And then you've got access to the control panel again. I'll just show you the energy label on the dishwasher. As you can see, it's an E energy rating. Uh, if you're comparing it to other dishwashers around a similar price to this, then you'll find that E is actually pretty good. Uh, just showing you on average, it's consuming 94 kilowatt hours of energy per 100 cycles. Uh, just proving that it's a 13 place setting. Uh, and also it's th three hours 45, that's for the eco program that I showed you earlier. Uh, 48 decibels, that's the noise level on this. Uh, again, if you're comparing it to other dishwashers, that is pretty quiet. A couple of accessories that come with a dishwasher as well. The first one is this, you get the new cold feed hose, 
We always recommend trying to install a new hose. It's always better to try and put a new hose on the dishwasher when it's first installed, whether a team are doing it, so whether another company are doing it for you or whether you're doing it yourself. The other item that comes with it is this. Now I do get a lot of questions about this. This is called a large item spray head. Uh, this cheeky little device can be really useful for washing uh, things like large grill racks or uh, big pans if you've got them. And the idea is that you take this out, so you take the top tray out and you put that, so you, you place it at the back, twist it around 90 degrees and that stays in place. Uh, so you keep this one in and I, I suppose I'd recommend taking that out as well, take the top tray out. But what this does essentially is to enable you to get large grill racks or large pans in there clean. If you're thinking of buying one of these dishwashers, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch SMS 2HVW66 freestanding dishwasher. As mentioned earlier, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the thumbs up and leave any comments below on the video, whether you enjoyed it, whether you didn't enjoy it. If I have missed something, or if you've got any questions on the dishwasher or any Bosch dishwashers, then just pop it in the comments. Also, if you have got a Bosch dishwasher similar to this or this model, then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.